Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, I'm going to pull a page from one of my favorite books. And I have been feeling called to do more of these page pulls because a lot of times they spark a conversation around um, healing and spiritual awakening and just kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. So I kind of like opening it up to our guides, our angels, the universe, to see what messages you might need to hear today. So sit back, close your eyes, drop your shoulders, take a deep breath. And let's see what the universe wants us to hear today. I'll let you guys see how I pick. Here we go. I follow the path of right action. In the infinity of life, where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete. Knowing that I am one with source and that I follow the path of right action, I am on principle at all times. I choose my thoughts to be in alignment with all that is for my highest good and greatest joy. My quality of life reflects this state that I presently want to be in. I love life. I love myself. I am safe at all times. All is well in my world. Wherever you go and whomever you meet, you will find your own love waiting for you. So when I read this, if any of you guys want a screenshot, when I read this, I really feel like one of the biggest lessons my mentor taught me, I had my spiritual awakening back in 2000, December of 2017. And I started to do Reiki in the spring of 2017. And then I really sparked open in December. I remember meditating like twice a day for 45 minutes. And I just was needing answers. I was trying to figure out who I was, um, why I was here. Why is my mind telling me that I'm crazy? Why are my thoughts all over the place? I felt manic. And then I went into a dark night of the soul where I was facing every single fear and I felt literally crazy. And I just remember sitting on my couch and like, I remember not knowing, like, should I go work out or shouldn't I, is that my ego telling me to go work out? Should I rest? Like, I had all of these voices in my head and I'm like, I don't know what to do right now. Like I was by myself going, I feel like I don't know the right action to take, but we're always taking the right action. So if I would have chose to rest, that would have been perfect. If I would have chose to go work out, that would have been perfect too. And it wasn't even about the working out or the resting. It was about the fact that I couldn't even decide on my own what I wanted. I felt so lost and I really was teetering on, like, I don't know what to do. I felt like no right decision, no decision was right. And that's part of the awakening is you, you don't trust yourself. You no longer trust your inner voice, your inner knowing, but the whole journey is to get to the place where you fully trust that you're being guided and you start to surrender and step out of the mind and you start feeling into what you want to do. My body didn't want to work out that day. My mind was forcing me to go do it because it, it was a program. It was what I always did, but my mind was saying rest or my body was saying, Michelle, rest, rest. But my ego was like poking me. You got to work out. You're not going to be fit. You're not going to be strong. You're not going to be healthy if you don't go to the gym. So I was battling like a ping pong match in my head. And that went on with like to-do lists and with doing work around my house or getting things done for, for my job. It was like this incessant pressure in my head and even just like putting dishes away correctly in the dishwasher or, you know, the small little details of our day that we don't even notice our thoughts. I became very aware of everything and I always questioned whether I was taking the right action or not. So I believe this message came out for all of us to understand that we are always, always exactly where we're meant to be. If you're on the couch crying right now, you're meant to be on the couch crying. If you've just stumbled across this video and you're like, oh, I needed this message, then it's perfect. If you're driving in your car and you get a flat tire, it's perfect. You did not do anything wrong. If you're going through a breakup, it's perfect. Every aspect of your life is perfect and it's divinely timed. You're always exactly where you're supposed to be. And through a spiritual awakening and through overcoming the mind, and becoming the observer of it and, and not attaching to the thoughts and really listening to our bodies and saying, okay, I'm going to feel through this right now. I'm going to trust my inner knowing 
through the feelings in my body. We have to drop from here down to our heart. That is the hardest part of the spiritual path is dropping from here to here. And we have to feel our way through life now where before our mind led us everywhere. And now we have to, we have to let our body lead us and our faith. Okay. So if you're in a store, if you're in a restaurant or if you're at a party or something and something doesn't feel right in your body, but your mind saying, we have to stay. We told them we'd come. We told them we'd set this up. We told them we'd do this. But if your body's screaming, get out of there, you have to honor that and you have to choose you and you do not please other people. That's another big part is you're unlearning and delayering all the conditioning of people pleasing, um, you know, sacrifice, abandoning yourself to please others is a huge piece of the journey because we grew up thinking we had to do to be loved and we have to unlearn that. We're allowed to do absolutely nothing and receive all the love. No more people pleasing. We don't have to show up in a space and speak our truth or try to be right all the time. We don't have to top other people with stories to try to be seen. We can just breathe and be loved. And if you're surrounded by people that are starting, starting to irritate you and they're not just loving you for breathing, you might be being called to let go of some friends. And it can be really difficult because you kind of feel like you're alone now in this journey. And you're like, wait, I don't resonate with anybody anymore. The people I work with are so like mean and they're judging everybody. And you're just not in that mindset anymore because you're awake and you see the bigger meaning of life. It's okay. You're going to go through that phase, but trust me, you have to let go of the old and then you'll be attracting better, newer, like-minded people. So you'll find your tribe, but first we have to let go. But every single decision is perfect. Every action is perfect. You are divinely led and you can trust that from now on. So when your mind jumps in and tells you that you're not doing enough or you should be doing more, just whatever it's conjuring up, turn it off. Say, nope, I witnessed the thoughts. I'm not believing them. I don't have to work really hard anymore. I'm a spiritual being and I'm realizing that I attract things. I don't chase things. I don't have to work hard for money. I don't have to work hard for opportunity. I now sit, listen for guidance and I take intuitively led action. You you don't just sit and wait and wait and wait on the spiritual path. You have to eventually take action, but it's inspired action. You're going to want to do it. It's going to feel good. And if your mind starts to get really loud and, and obsessive and incessant, take a nap. And then when you wake up from the nap, then start to be like, okay, I kind of feel like going and starting some work or I feel like journaling, or I feel like going for a walk. And then all of a sudden on your walk, you have this inspiration to create something. And that's how it starts to unfold. Whereas prior to the nap, you were probably trying to force yourself to create something and nothing was working. You were blocked. So we have to tune out the mind, rest the body, and then allow the creativity to pour through us when we're feeling good, through a bath, through a walk, through nature, through cooking, through talking with a friend on the phone. When we're in a good vibration, that's when creativity can, it can like flood through us. It's called being in the flow. And for me, when I create these videos, I, nothing is scripted. I am speaking and channeling and I am fully in the flow. I have an idea of what I want to talk about. And this, and these videos, I have no clue until the page is pulled and then we just flow. So I can't sit around and stress about what kind of video I'm going to create. Cause sometimes I just turn on and start going and here we are. So I've learned to step out of the mind And my mind would tell me, Michelle, you need to make a plan. You need to have a video film for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I am intuitive in every aspect of my life. And I wait for the intuitive action. I don't force myself to film on days that I don't want to film. And some days I film four videos back to back and I'll just change my top every (laughs) because I just feel like I'm in the flow and I'm like, oh, the universe is speaking through me. I got to get these messages out there. So always trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. All is always perfect. And if you need help and if you need guidance and you resonate with these messages, you like my delivery, feel free to book a coaching session with me, an intuitive reading. I mentor clients monthly. We do weekly calls. 
It's all down below in the description box and I'd be happy to help you in any way because it is not easy to traverse the spiritual journey alone. I needed a mentor. I've had a mentor for about five years. Her name is Anna and she is amazing. So if you are feeling called to me and you feel drawn to me and you'd like me to be your mentor, it's $333 a month and you get weekly calls and a full reading each month and you get free access to me via text. So you can text me anytime and ask me any question and it's like I'm yours for the whole month. So I would love to help you out. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.